Hi Aries, this is your February 26th through March 3rd weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. The first spread is going to be on new love coming towards you. The second spread is for those of you who are already in a relationship or already married. The third spread is love from the past. After that, we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have uh, the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Wands. Then we have uh, the Two of Cups, clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Swords with the uh, King of Cups and Justice. And uh, we have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Libra, and we have uh, you, Aries. <laughs> Unless you're dealing with another Aries. This is a bit of a unusual spread, unusual reading, but I've seen readings like this in the past. The thing is, we start with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending, something that comes to a screeching halt, some, something that comes to an ending. We'll get to that in just a second, but uh, let me jump over to the potential outcome real quick. In the potential outcome, we do have a court card, this King of Cups right there in the middle. So I assume that at the end of the day, at some point, um, in the very near future, you're moving forward with this King of Cups. Definitely moving forward with them. It's probably even starting this week. It's just that that Ten of Swords with the Nine of Wands have to play out, right? But uh, the King of Cups is the person you're moving forward with, so it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. If they're not a water sign, it could be somebody who is, you know, mature, very <laughs> loving when it comes to you. All right, so go, let's go back to the uh, Ten of Swords qualified by the Nine of Wands. If you're dealing with two people, Aries, if you're dealing with two people, then one of them will have to become a thing of the past and uh, this King of Cups is going to become a thing of the future. All right, So you could be cutting one person out and they're going to be all broken hearted, unfortunately for them. But uh, you're moving forward with this uh, King of Cups. For some of you, for others of you, if you're dealing with just one person, perhaps you are not really open to relationships right now. Or you're not accepting applications from wishy-washy people, from people who would say things like, oh, let's just see what happens, or it's like you could be sitting in the energy unless you really like the person, unless the person really, really resonates with you from the get-go, you're not even going to bother going on dates with them, you know. And uh, this King of Cups comes along and you're going to be like, yes, yes, that's the person, and this is the person, you're going to go out on the date, they're going to resonate with you right away, you will click and uh, all that good stuff. So those two cards could be the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands clarifying, could be interpreted as such. You're not really open for uh, any, you know, small potatoes. <laughs> small potatoes, I guess. Right? Um, so after the Ten of Swords, uh, we have uh, the Two of Cups clarified by the Nine of Cups. So right after the Ten of Swords, here comes the Two of Cups with the Nine of Cups and the rest of the spread. Right? The Two of Cups it features two people in it, right? And I assume that's you and this King of Cups. It's a soulmate card, it's a card of unconditional love, it's a card of when two people click, two people are on the same page, two people resonate, and things like that. The Nine of Cups clarifying that is a card of a wish come true, all right? It's a card of satisfaction and fulfillment. You see, we have two nines on the table. The Nine of Wands, all the way to your left, the person in the Nine of Wands is not really looking forward to uh, spending time with anybody, right? This is a card of a wounded warrior, somebody who locks themselves down, somebody who puts up a wall between themselves and the person they're dealing with. But then the person in the Nine of Cups, yeah, that person is happy. Yeah, that person is happy. And I think that's you with this uh, King of Cups. Also on the bottom of the deck we have the Fool. The Fool is actually one of your major arcana cards, Aries. But at the same time, the Fool is a card of uh, taking a leap of faith. The Fool is a card of like uh, a breath of fresh air, and I think that's what's happening between you and this King of Cups. And uh, we have that Four of Wands right there in the middle, you know? The Four of Wands is a card of a commitment of marriage. This card showed up right there. It's not a clarifier, it's not even in the potential outcome, it showed up as the third card, right? Uh, as I was originally pulling cards out, this was the third card. So the two of you will want to move forward towards the commitment right away. It's like a huge turnaround, right? Huge turnaround. 
for you. The 4 of Wands always reminds me of an actual wedding. That card is often referred to as the 11 11 card, but it is a commitment on marriage card. In the potential outcome, as we saw, we have that King of Cups. The Ace of Swords to the left often comes through as the word yes. <laughs> Uh, it's a card of no BS, it's a card of people uh, crystal clear about what they want and what's going on, right? It's a card of a new beginning, the Justice card right next to the deck could be a Libra, you're dealing with Justice card could also be like a bit of a marriage card, because Justice could be an actual place where people get married, alright? And with Justice card you're finally getting what you deserve, the right person, the person that will resonate with you, the person whom you're on the same page, and things like that. Alright, so that's what I have for you, Aries. Really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship, or if you are already married, Aries, uh, this part is for you. We have the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Swords, we have Justice, we have the Six of Wands, and we have the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra or any Zodiac sign. It feels like um, this will most likely resonate with you if you've been dealing with like a government agency or if you've been suing your neighbor <laughs> or if uh, your entire neighborhood sued uh, a company or, or something like that, uh, some kind of a provider. And this, this spread is talking about a victory. All right. <laughs> Justice in this case is definitely either a court or a government agency or something like that. Right, and the six of ones right next to the deck is a card of victory, and I think that's your victory. The world on the bottom of the deck is a card of an ending, but it's a happy hand card. So there's going to be some kind of a decision made, and I think it's going to go in your favor. Right, then that that will finally end whatever this process was, and the, it must have been a long process because in the beginning we did have the ten of ones clarified by the eight of swords. You know, this is something that's taken a toll on us, something we uh, deal with over an extended period of time. Right, but again, with the justice and the, and all the other cards, something is coming to an end. If you if you sued your <laughs> neighbor, you're winning. If you sued a company uh, that uh, provides something for your city, for your neighborhood, or something like that, you're winning. Um, perhaps uh, if you wanted to remodel your home, right, and uh, you had to submit the blueprints with your local government to get a permit for the remodel or an addition to your home, then. Uh, uh, you're, they're finally giving you that green light. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aries. This uh, we keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Five of Cups clarified by the Nine of Swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords uh, clarified by the Queen of Wands, and uh, we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Or pretty much any zodiac sign. The only reason why I clarified those cards, to be honest with you, I was hoping to see a court card, and yes, <laughs> we got a court card. The Queen of Wands, but I assume that's you. <laughs> Here he is. I assume that's you. Um, also, um, this person, whoever this person is, they're coming back to you, and uh, I think they know they messed up in a big, major way. And that's why they're coming to you, they're coming back to you with those two aces, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. I think this person realizes that uh, unless you, unless they offer you like a serious commitment, uh, you wouldn't even consider. Okay, I don't know if you're actually going to consider, because the Queen of uh, Wands is clarifying the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is not a, a card, is not an energy of somebody who is welcoming another person back, or welcoming somebody into their life. As a matter of fact, you're going you're gonna to need time. You're going to need time. The Eight of Swords is a card of somebody who is thinking, and uh, even overthinking a little bit. Alright, but uh, just so you know, yeah, I think this person is very sorry. The Five of Cups, the first card that came out is a card of grief and regret. It's clarified by the Nine of Swords. This is them losing sleep over this. Um, I don't know if you're going to care, but uh, yeah, that's what that means. Uh, and then we got a couple of aces, one clarifying another. So they're coming back with a very serious offer. To be fair to them, yeah, it is a serious offer, very loving offer at the same time. You know, because one ace is clarified by another. This doesn't happen that often. Alright, uh, the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck would be a Taurus you're dealing with, but, and uh, the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. And again, you're not going to be jumping on this opportunity. Take your time. If you want to see what this person does over the next, I don't know, couple of weeks, yeah, I think they will have to wait. They will have to wait. <laughs> so it's like a probation period. Alright?
Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances uh, areas this week. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, uh, the Two of Wands, and uh, the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This week you will be doing either some kind of a research, or you could be looking for a new job, or new opportunities, depending on what you do. <laughs> All right. The Three of Pentacles, the first card that came out is a card of collaboration, cooperation. It's a card of when a group of people get together and do something, something together. So this is often a workplace environment, a business place environment. Uh, the Three of Pentacles sometimes comes through as uh, like side gigs, consulting gigs, things like that. The Page of Swords, the next card I came out, I think this is either you doing some kind of a research, looking for um, a new application, looking for a new product, or you're doing some other research, or you're looking for a new job. You're looking for a new job. Then we have the Tail Ones and the Six of Pentacles. Those two cards are talking about you having to choose. Okay, so if you're doing research, perhaps you're going to come across two similar products, and uh, you're going to be looking in, at them and comparing which of the products is be better suits your needs, or the companies you work for needs, or you could be looking at simply a couple of job offers. Okay, consulting gig offers, whatever, whatever it is that you do, you will have options. At the end of the day, once you've done your uh, search, you will have options. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Aries. We have the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and uh, the Six of Pentacles <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm, I don't know who this Queen of Swords is to you. I don't think that's you. I think this is somebody else. But uh, what you're not expecting is this Queen of Swords doing very well financially. Yeah, especially this week. This week in particular. It's like this person is um, elevating in terms of their financial status. Okay, because, because besides the Queen of Swords, all other cards are pentacles. And even the, the Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Queen of Swords could be interpreted as a card of financial abundance. The Four of Pentacles kind of in the middle right there. I usually interpret it as a savings account card. That means that people have enough money for them to set aside. Right? The person in the Four of Pentacles is holding on to that pentacle. The Nine of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of, or could be interpreted as a card of somebody who is doing very well financially. The Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, more pentacles, right? It, it's a really good card when it comes to money. It's usually money coming in. Right, and uh, sometimes it's money, money coming in, money going out. That means uh, if it's a payday, you'll have enough money to save some of it and uh, use the rest to pay for your bills or what have you. Right. So yeah, that's what you're not expecting. Um, this uh, Queen of Swords is doing well, very well financially. So that's what I have for you, Aries, for this uh, reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aries, have an amazing week.